Hey YouTube, today is Saturday, the 20th day of August, 2021, about 7.50 in the morning, and I'm just doing a review of this latest campground that we're in, that we're going to leave a little later today, and there you can see that right there, of course our little mini. First of all, let me just start off and tell you that with this campground you do get full hookups. You see there's electric, got sewer here, and water right there. You get a picnic table and they put these little grill things looks like big bowls everywhere there's a number of these you can see some in those sites over there and you see the truck is parked right here and let's see i know i saw yeah right here you see right there in the middle is another one of great big bowl things and here's also a picnic table and so i just wanted to let you know that um this place is, this is called the uh, Mark Twain uh, Cave or Caverns and, uh, and Campground. Uh, tax and all, we're paying $41 and 18 or 19 cents a night. So uh, that's, uh, the, the sites are like 38 or $39 and then the, the other is taxed to make it over $41 a night. We stayed here two nights. Uh, like I said, we're going to leave about noon today, so we got a little time. And uh, but as far as the campground itself, you can see, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's very treed. So many of these campgrounds I've showed, uh, I showed you, you know, has been that, and that's just true. There are a lot of trees. It's very quiet. Even you see, it's busy because it's the weekend. It wasn't wasn't near this. I mean, there weren't probably even 30% of these people here when we came here just two days ago. Uh, but because the weekend, of course, it's filled up to where there's not too many spots even left but anyway over there you can see there's a little shelter house with a bunch of picnic tables so what i'm going to do is we're going to take a walk up front and i'm going to show you uh just you know sort of the stuff that's here uh that you can look at into this so um oh no i don't know if i said it or not yeah we're just outside of hannibal missouri so this is all mark twain everything is mark twain here all right so uh i'm you know since you're watching this now, if you watch my video from yesterday, that would have been of the town and the things that we did there, so you already know that. All right, so let's go do the other stuff and take care of it. All right, so this sign here will show you where we're at, but uh, one thing I thought about that I needed to add is when we came here, we came through the town of Hannibal, and my GPS took me off up a side street, and it took us around for miles and miles, um, about 30 minutes out of the way for us to get here. So just remember this, if you're coming through the town of Hannibal. Make sure you stay on 79. Come straight out because you'll you'll come in down there. That's 79 down there. So you'd come down the hill and then you make a right into this place. So don't don't let uh, Google Maps throw you off and take you off 79 because it will uh, it will cost you, especially if you're in a big rig. But anyway, you can see that we're at the world famous, as it says, Mark Twain Cave there, and they have these flowers. Give you an up close shot of that one you can see there's a bush here and there's a bush here they got a little speed bump here which it's always in the shade and I never see it so be careful of that because it'll it'll bump you a little bit and let's see over in the sun here there's a little shelter they got over there over there and this is when you really start coming into it up here so if we get a bit closer I'll show you some stuff all right so the first building you run across once you come in back there is that winery right there over there, that's a sandwich shop. I'm not sure what that little building is. It says Cave Hollow, Sticks and Stones, and okay. Bones. Cave Hollow, Sticks, Stones, and Bones is what I'm being told it says. But anyway, there's a little bathroom area over there. And then there's a couple of characters over there. That is the main building. And so when you come here, you'll pull up right there at that sign where it says Campers Only. You go in there and check in, and then the campground is straight gift, ahead. A gift shop I'll show that to you. All right, yeah, so I'm being told that that's a gift shop as well. All right, so let's go do something else. All right, so here you can see them. I'm Jesse James. So this is one of the two things that they got here. And then show this other one over here. So they got that, a, a man and a woman there. So you can have fun with that. All right, so up here is the, the main building, as I showed a minute ago, that... Uh, if you want to do the cave, you can go in there and buy them. Yeah, the cave is 
right behind this building. So apparently, you, all right. So you, know, you can see it says Mark Twain Cave, discovered 1819. So pretty old. And live today, Mark Twain. So you can buy uh, some Mark Twain tickets and see him. Over here it says Liberty Tree Burr Oak. Let's take a look at this thing. It's a gigantic tree. Well, I mean, that's really gigantic. What does that say? As part of our nation's bicentennial, the Missouri Department of Conservation recognized certain trees throughout the Missouri's Liberty Trees. This broke started as a seedling in 1731 as included in the famous and historic trees of the United States by the Department of Agriculture. Wow, so that, that tree is 290 years old? Man, got some benches here to set on if you want. Then right over here, this big sign you can see, it says Mark Twain Cape, uh, Cave Campground. And like I said, the campground's right up here, so we'll show that to you as we get up here. All right, so the campsites start right here. This is A4, I mean, that's either for a very tiny trailer or a tenter. It does have electric over there, and I see sewer, so I see, and water, actually. Now yeah, they have this over here where that, that trailer's been parked there. For a while but this is when you drive in that's the only way to drive in so you'll be coming up this way and then i'll show you where we went from there so you go to this first curve you can see this is the b sites so that's b1 b2 b3 and right here will tell you one way so you know you have to turn this way so you go up this way and uh show you we're in e7 is where we're at so i'll get that and See what it looks like. Right, so as you drive it through here, you see that T6 right there. All of these, these start with T, so probably tent. And as you come up that building on the right, that's the laundry over there. And the, this is where the two main dumpsters that we found. They got a little playground with a couple of girls over playing. But anyway, we come up here, and the T sites continue there to the left. And you see there's camper sites. I already said that. So we come up to the right here. Right, so as you make that right, you see this sign right here that says D side, so you'd go up that way right there. But this is E sides, and this one right here is E1. And there are seven sites in this particular row. And we are up there at the very, very end, which is E7. So this is E2 right here. Then we got E3, and on the line until we get to ours up there. And I'll show you when we get closer. All right, so you see right there is E6. And then you got this big, nice place here. You see where you can get no neighbor. And ours is on the end, right here. And so I'll show you once again. I see over here, you have nobody either. So you have all this ground to yourself at this particular site. And again, you can see we are E7. So we got a lot of ground both to our left and to our right. That's our nearest neighbor. So that's the side. That's the campground. Hope you enjoyed it.